Hey! Ooh, let's see what this, uh... Did I click? Okay, well, I like this. Cool. Okay, and Hydra Mysterious Game. Unlocks in five hours, bro. Why are you in different chats? There's another one down. Alright, anyways. Now everyone just chops in the fucking Discord and starts talking, bro. What? Hey, what to the no, they keep hopping in the Discord and talking. I have all three of them muted. <laughs> oh, uh, he has everyone muted. <laughs> because he's making a video. Well, head to the beach. How's the game, Trent? Uh, <laughs> you'll you'll know what I mean when I say it's like that one game. Okay, well, Soon. I'm gonna do the story part first, because obviously that. I'm not gonna record the fucking mini games. I'm recording it anyway. I'm not recording the fucking mini games. <laughs> We're here for the story part. That's the video. Ow, I just broke my damn legs. You said something was unlocking in five hours. What the heck is. What, the, what are you talking about? Third part of the story. Anyone here though? I just said we can start the game by talking to the bulletin board, so we should try that. Still be careful. While playing. I could see on here the player was. Actively serve the ball and propel the skill ball forward using the bar. The skill ball will rebound upon collecting the bar. It's Peggle! Is that what you're trying to say it was? Uh, sure. Do you know what Peggle is? So the one. Is, I don't know. Fuck, like, I don't know. It's like that, just like a one game on Atari. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't really. Pong? Not Pong. Okay, imagine Pong where you're bouncing multiple balls at like a thing breaking it. Like, yeah, Peggle! It's called Peggle, bro. Look up Peggle. No. Okay. <laughs> it's like P E G G L E. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's Peggle. Bro, bro. should we play this in co op, bro? I mean, we fucking can. Fuck it, bro. I'm in one right now, hold on. Okay, well, hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Nine seconds. No, 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 I mean, like, the, okay, go to the site. Okay, well, we'll do it later. Because. I'm doing. I'm just gonna burn through the story first. I don't want to do like the actual like that stuff. Because last time I didn't do all the shit and I fucked it up with the uh, what was it? The uh, the Pokemon one. But I beat it, but I didn't get to do the last like the second to last part. Then hey, I, you guys finally made it. How you doing, Ito? I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. We didn't find those kids. Uh, we found out Ghost built a machine, and that's about it, bro. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. They were ghosts. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. What's that? Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh... The something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Huh? The hunter by day becomes a hunter by night? Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. Yeah, all right, well. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time. Oh, no. I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those oh, three no. to emerge first. Oh, no. Then I'll nail him with a surprise attack. You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest. Got it? Okay, see you later. <sighs> Again? At least he's not talking to himself this time. Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. It's fine. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. The second round, bro. Part two, baby! Part two! Hearts by thousand. It's a grippy. Good for high octane content. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the first round of the test of courage. I already see that little now child. Now you're man. one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Probably. Ooh. Hey, cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying. Oh, really? Good to hear. 
Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Uh, no, that's not what Paimon means. Something I love how I can always tell Paimon is also here. happening here, not Mike. just the event. So what? You've heard the story so about what? the test of courage, that haven't you? That sounds like Jesse from Pokemon. Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety uh, of emotions. Oh, that something else is happening besides the event. So what? Them, and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. I love the Shrine Minions so, are all just don't give a shit. Isn't it to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. She actually turns around. You talk about the animations being janky, bro. They're like, they're more subtle now. Like, Paimon just turned her fucking head slightly. Same thing with, uh, in, uh, in, uh, no, in Sumeru. There's an animation where she moves her eyes independently. <laughs> There's nothing behind us. I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. Oh, I see Toma also. So, oh, great, bro. congrats on passing this test. I see Sayu and Toma. The test of courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? No. Nope. Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? He backed out. Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. Yeah. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. <laughs> If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows. If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Oh, let's ask around and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. Is that you and Mia? Uh, who did you choose, bro? I chose Sayu. Okay. You can check my screen. You can check a screenshot I took in the, in the chat. She, she joins so that she can get taller. <laughs> Are you here for the test of courage too? Well, she's like not even. Yes. Here. <sighs> Bruh. She looks like she just woke up. Oh no! Wait, she's actually trying to fall asleep. Okay. The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. Aren't you 16, bro? Are you scared of this but shit? As soon as I close my eyes. It's really easy to fall asleep. I think the, I think the makers of the game forgot During that too. During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death. So I ran and hid behind a tree. Okay, maybe uh, you know did that one. I tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. Should she be disqualified then? A big bull-headed beast? Oh wait, that sounds like Ushi. Now, no one wants to partner up with me for the second round. Damn, bro. Oh, poor Sayu. Uh, wait. You're like a partner with Sayu, bro, even though she needs a partner. Damn, the first bro. Place. Oh, because I heard that being frightened causes you to grow taller. <sighs> what kind of silly idea is that? That's just a load of baloney. I wasn't sure if it was true either, but since I heard it could help people grow taller, I decided to give it a shot. Jesus. Well, Sayu doesn't have a partner yet. Should we team up with her? Let me think about it. It's okay. No rush. I came here for my own reasons anyway. Okay. I'll try to overcome my fear and sleepiness. But if you do want to partner up, just... I got you. I got you. What the hell is this man Toma doing out here, bro? Hey there! Congrats on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! This nigga mad already. Uh, wait! Were you also a contestant Toma's in the mad. first round? <laughs> I sure was. But I couldn't shake this constant feeling that someone was secretly following me the entire round. Oh, great. He didn't seem to be from the Yashiro Commission, and I was concerned that he might be out to stir up trouble at the event. So I tried to capture him. Alright, so he's fighting Edo I didn't expect him to run so fast. I gave chase for a while, but I couldn't keep up. And before I knew it, the round was over. Hmm. Is there a chance he wasn't there to cause trouble? Maybe he was just trying to scare people. Coming all the way to the test of courage to scare people? Well, I guess the world is full of all kinds of weirdos. Damn. Anyway, I'm going to be sure to show everyone my abilities in the second round. Oh, Paima remembers you once mentioned you like Kaidong. 
Fuck is kind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Once I really get into it, you might find me to be your toughest competitor. The fuck is a kind on? <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. I don't. I'm not here for the prizes, yeah. just I to don't. have fun. My lord has granted me a rare vacation. My lord. So I'd rather spend my time relaxing than worrying about some contest. Okay. Then. Speaking of which, have you found a partner yet? Would you like to pair up with me? Well, what's with these damn Yashiro motherfuckers and being like so direct and forward, bro? Your master was like that too. Ah. Uh, I understand. I hope you can find the right partner and win the second nice. round. You've probably already heard that to win the Grand Narukami Shrine special prize, you have to win all three rounds. Which we plan on doing. I'd like to know what the prize is as well, and you're the only one who has that chance now, so go for it. Okay. Look at that. Always encouraging. The house, man. But where's Yoimiya, bro? Hey, a traveler. Hi, Mon. I had a you two would be here. Tattooed with the titties oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're here too? Mm-hmm. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too, but it was already too late. Damn. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how he managed to find it. Bro, it was literally take our left. That's all it was. Traveler, you ever told me you were so good at this sort of event? You weren't keeping it a secret, were you? Yes. Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team. With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Sure you are, Mia. Let's go. Awesome. Don't worry, you'll see that being on my team is a blast. Now let's get out there and win this thing. We'll move faster than a firework shooting straight into the sky. It'll be like whoosh, and the round will be ours. Jeremy is gonna accidentally blow someone up. Shout out to energetic white woman. Gotta be my favorite gender. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. Damn. <laughs> What's the prize for this event, bro? It's gonna be like a fucking anyway, Yaimiko plushie. Now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test of courage. A grenade. It's a fan. Damn. Oh, damn. Five hours yeah. we get the rest of the thing. You mean like the thing we yeah. use to keep cool when it's hot out? <laughs> yes, oh, right. Paimon. That exactly. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro Commissioner himself and has been placed somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The Chinju Forest. There will be signs to guide the way. But beware, the darkness that lurks in the forest is drawing nearer. And we saw a demon already, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Remember, if you can't go on any further, you can always give up and live to see another day. We'll never give up. Let's go! All right. Another walking segment, bro? No. And last time the prize is on the left, so what direction should I go now, bro? Look, something just fell from above! Ah, keep it away from Paimon! What the hell are Oni Kabuto falling? Let me see. Oh, it's from Oni Kabuto! Yeah, Yo and Mia. strong ones from the looks of it. Oh, Yo and Mia, I picked the Sayu. You can in put some of my sus funny screenshots in your video. Tournament. Tournament. So you get the best of both worlds. I mean, well, no, no, one no, no, no. world. Alright, we went, we went left last time, bro. How about we keep going straight? What's that? Hey, did you guys hear that? Huh, hear what? It sounded like it came from inside the shrine. I've heard people say that some evil spirits are sealed in shrines, and at night they make bang sounds from inside. Yeah. Whenever someone approaches, a spirit will pow, leap out and pull that unfortunate person inside the shrine, using the victim to replace themselves as the prisoner. A fucking cat. <laughs> oh, it's a kitty. Not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to see a real evil spirit. <gasps> Thank goodness. <laughs> Bro, these people are fucking stupid. Huh? Oh, this doesn't seem to be the right way. Let's try another path. Motherfucker found a radish root. Hey, no way. <laughs> so you can't choose the wrong path. Oh yeah, you can. 
surprisingly. Oh, did you go left and up last time? Hey, those Two. floating lab nodes? Hey, yeah, I just went left and transform into a lavender melon. <laughs> Yorvia is the correct partner to take. You gotta pick the ones who don't give a shit. Like Yorvia, fucking Kazuma. Mm -hmm. Wrong like Sayu is, Sayu is great because every time she gets scared, she says, uh oh, activating Yahoo are in and run. Is that just Paimon? Or is there an eerie shadow over there? That's, that is a shadow, bro. Oh, you're right. That wasn't there when we arrived. There's clearly no one around, but there's a shadow on the ground. Oh, this is like a real Kaidon story. Let's go check it out. Bruh. On second thought, maybe we should go. Paimon's heart is pounding like crazy. Actually, let's check it out. Let's see what happens. I walk over to it. Oh, nothing. Okay, well. Bro, fucking actually missing the chest is like way better because you get like more dialogue. <laughs> this should be far enough. Are you tired, Paimon? Do you want to take a break? Yes, please. Oh, let's rest here. Uh, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, was that statue always facing this way? Ah, the candles also went out. What's going on? Is something coming? Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, Paimon wasn't kidding. The statue really did move. Wonder how that works. <laughs> I guess she was like, oh, no, that works. Oh, that lantern. Wow! Look at all the lanterns here! It's so beautiful! Uh, but now that I look closer, it seems like the lanterns are floating in mid-air. How is that possible? Uh, that's definitely not normal! Bro, we've seen more magical hey, stuff, bro. can I borrow your shoulders for a second? You can give me a boost, and I'll pull one of them down. <laughs> Bro, you really just wants to fuck up this whole event, bro. What you got hey, hey, look what we have here. Yeah, bro. This lanterns floating. Hey, floor. give me a boost on your shoulder. Oh, I want to pull one of those lanterns down. Are those fireworks? <laughs> it seems to be for some sort of festival. Hey, you're breaking into my house so, when I see that. Now that we've found this fan... That's the real spooky part. That mean we've won the second round of the test of courage? Let's bring it back. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm selling your stuff. <sighs> Thank goodness it's over. Got that security defense or something. Wonder if Ito's still out trying to capture those three from earlier. Paimon's a little worried about him. Uh, why don't we have a look around? Hmm? Is there something else you need to take care of? How about I take the fan back then? There, bro. Thank you. That would help. No need to thank me. It's been a blast doing the test of courage with you guys. I'd love to do it again. Roger that. Doing it with you and me. <laughs> I've got you now. Oh, ah, great, bro. Just run! Don't worry about me! Ha! Wow, Ito, you really captured them! Capture those kids. Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. Kids, bro. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. And if you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. Damn, bro. We won't back down, even if... Uh, even if we're already in your You see these kids, brother, ride or die. I said we were going to eat you. Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Who's gonna eat him? Hmm, I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Ah, oh, I know. These are all creatures from the ultimate yokai field guide that Granny used to show me. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. Oh. They're all yokai. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. Oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? People who live through it. You're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you trying to do here? Don't think I didn't see you following him around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was 
you three. Hey, bro. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to, uh, um, uh. Go ahead, tell us, kid. What are you trying to do? Really? You're not mad? Bro, I couldn't give Even a flippity floppity like shit to do doing it on purpose anyway let's hear your side of the story and Paimon will decide whether or not to forgive you um well the truth is we were planning a festival one hosted festival. by the yokai but humans are also welcome to attend the fucking Mikohama flower festival ah, the festival that A mentioned Mikawa flower festival huh that does ring a bell Oh, right. It used to be hosted by the top yokai. I heard it was supposed to be a lot of fun. I mean, not as fun as my almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. But hey, that was a pretty still. good one. Yes, the Mikawa Flower Festival is our aspiration. But we know that our festival doesn't deserve that name. The times of Yakiyako are long gone. We're just a bunch of little yokai living in the wilderness. As you can see, we lack the necessary yokai powers to put on such a grand festival. But we're determined to still reach out to humans and express our gratitude. Huh? Gratitude? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You see, we live in the wilderness and are frequently attacked by monsters. They would come and stir up trouble on our land, forcing us to hand over our food. Sometimes they would even get rough and leave us injured. But later, many human adventurers came into the wilderness and drove off the monsters, allowing us to live in peace. Ah, I get it now. You want to repay the favor, but, uh, your powers are too puny. Hey, don't let it get to ya. You might be a bunch of pipsqueaks, but you're all solid yokai in my book. So, are you the ones who set up the Akitsu Yugen game on the beach? Yep, that was us. Wait. Have you tried it yet? Isn't it fun? The actual yokai? We drew inspiration from the legendary Akitsu Hazura. Mm. It took a lot of yokai power to set it up. Oh, so the kids are actual yokai. After they're not that, just we kids. Didn't have much yokai I power thought they were the three kids that so Yaomiya was playing with, bro. The forest, I, thought, I thought they were just here. wearing masks we were just for the event. No, they're actual yokai. The well, what well, you see is they're ac they are just kid models with masks. That's the that's beauty of it. Thank you, Mihoyo. I mean... Yeah, the well, yeah, I'm physically real, like that's what they are. Okay, so they're actually because they're like that really? lazy. I thought did I say that? To be honest, we've never uh, met a human overlord. before, I did not say that so we had no idea what you would like. Man, recorded, bro. We focused on building the Akitsu Yugen because of a legend we heard. Ah, I know the one. It's the story of yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Oh my god, we got a whole ass cutscene. It said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Ah, uh, what a pain. The yokai at the festival began discussing how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ha! Then join us! We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes. I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Hmm. I look forward to it. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all That's actually a nice cutscene, bro. Very different from the usual. symbol of friendship. That's why 
When we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant, so we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. Okay. Maybe someone was trapped in there. Yeah, but that wasn't us. What? We have no idea what could have gone wrong. Bro. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. I like the fact that, like, all these, like, elemental beings, like, yokai and stuff, and, like, the fucking defenders of Liyue, what they call, like, the yakshas and the adepti, it isn't, like, magic that they use. It's, like, they literally build mechanical structures. <laughs> It's like the magic of the world is literally like mechanical sh buildings. It's not like, you know, like, oh, shit disappears and like magically happens. It's like, what did he build to like fucking build a portal? Oh, yeah, I built like a literal energy generator. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, like, fucking, what's it, a cloud retainer. He's like, oh, yeah, she lives like her own like domain, which is like magical. But then it's like, yeah, I mean, like the Guizhong Ballista. It's like, yeah, I made a fucking giant crossbow catapult. <laughs> Like or, you gotta think about, bro. In this, in this time of day and age, anything that's even like remotely sciencey mechanical is probably magic for them too. Yeah, the best part is like the, that's that's like the magic they use. It's like always like something that's like mechanically built. Hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared <clears> and walked <throat> around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. It wasn't long before large numbers of people began coming to the Chinju Forest. And visitors were playing Akitsu Yugen again. It was wonderful. A human man with blue hair? That's Ayato, bro. Now that you mention it, the fan that Ayato chose is the same kind that's used at a festival. Do you think that he knew about the yokai when he decided to hold the test of courage here? Oh, so my bro Ayato is here for the test of courage too? Bro Ayato. Or maybe he's here to catch Oni Kabuto. Ha! Had I known that, I would have brought the one I caught a few days ago to battle him. Wow! Ito's still clueless about who Ayato really is. It was. I think I, I don't have a line like that. He's like, I met Ito once, and he calls me bro now. Well, anyway, seems like all the strange things we saw earlier were caused by these little yokai, not ghosts. Huh, what a relief. Bro, they're still and mythical now that beings. We know what's happening, oh my the gosh. Courage doesn't seem that I found it. The thing to finally break a water hey, shield. You want to hang out with Dendro, humans, right? I totally get that. <gasps> After all, we yokai are becoming a rare breed these days. If all we do is isolate, we'll only feel more lonely. So why don't you let this Oni do you a favor, hmm? See, I'm a yokai too, right? And I'm already a natural in human society. I bet there's not a single person in Inazuma who hasn't heard of Arataki, the one and only Ito. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll show you around. Bro, big bro Ito helping the young Oni children. Now that Paimon doesn't feel so scared anymore, maybe we can walk around the area. How nice, bro. How about that age... But Paimon was too busy having the bejeevers scared out of her to pay any attention until now. Come to think of it, Paimon remembers seeing some festival-related items on the beach. Let's head over there and take a look. Maybe we can help out. How about that ancient demon that we got attacked by in the forest? You want to talk about that? <laughs> We're just ignoring that one? Like, the fucking dragon guard looking ass bitch? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's lanterns and shit here now. In yeah. advance, it's a more advanced, bro. There's the ancient demon too. Wait. Yeah, You're bro. The strange lady we met before. Oh, 
it's you two again. It's not bad, bro. I have to say, I'm impressed. Lizard eyes. Lizard eyes. She reminds me of the girl time. who died from the fatui because they, they have like something covered in their eye or in their eye. But I'm not nah. going to let uh, you yeah. off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll. You know what, lizard woman? Demon Yoka. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen? Again, that game. How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time. And I could... You good, bro? Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry, or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. Don't worry, Ito has already taken your fellow yokai to meet some new friends. Everyone will get along just fine. Yeah, the only sound of our time. Yeah, so around. there's no need to worry. Come on, let's go play at Kitsu Yugen. We'll see who can finish the game the quickest. The loser will have to grant the winner a wish. Huh? Like we get a wish from oh, her? It's starting! Get ready. Hey, bro. Got some ghost cheeks, bro. Wait, we have to fucking actually complete a match, bro? Okay, well, I don't actually know how to play this shit. Modifiers? Oh, yeah, there's modifiers. Yeah, sure, bro. Let's select that and uh, this, bro. Whatever the fuck that means. Characters, bro. Does it matter what characters I choose? Uh, Depends on what blocks there are. Um, if there's electro blocks, pick fucking fire. How was that? Hydro, basic, oh. Cryo, pyro, oh, so I probably don't want, like, Yelan. Well, Yelan moves fast. Oh, okay, so we want Pyra. Okay, I don't want Yelan, though. There we go. Fuck it, well, we'll throw both of them on. Who else can apply Hydra or Pyro pretty liberally? Uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? And then we need someone else. We can apply Hydro pretty liberally. Uh, there we go. This should work, right? I don't actually know how this game works at all, so... We'll see what playing this bitch. Oh, you'll find out. Oh, that's it, bro? I should have got someone to lecture. Whoops. Bro, it's like Pagel. But gay. Like Pegel, but Chinese. I'll never forget the Chinese for stealing this. Man, bro, I got that 20 hit combo, bro. This is slow as shit, bro. No! No! Damn. Bro. Oh, I got two balls, bro. Damn, Jimmy, your mom lets you have two nut sacks. Hmm? You heard me, bro. Did you see that cool meme I sent you on Instagram? <laughs> oh, I fucking missed, bro. You fucked me up, bro. Damn. Wait, didn't see the uh, silver meme? The silver meme? Bro. What the fuck is oh. silver? Yeah, no, you gotta watch that shit right after you're done uh, with your game immediately. It's a, it literally matches the context. Ha, ha, better yet, put it in the video. Bro, alright. Uh, I'm playing this game like shit, bro. No wonder I never play fucking Pagel. Bro, I'm, I'm so fucking bad at this. It's not even funny. Oh, Pyro, yeah, wait, I could just use Pyro for this entire- Oh my god, bro. My timing is so off. Oh, you can dash. Whoops. Uh, guys, don't, don't. 
You know, nigga. Bro, we might just cut this out the video, bro. Nah, here we go. Nah, here we go. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, 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 just cut, that, just cut this whole, se the cut this whole segment out this fucking video, bro. Put it in the bloopers at the back, bro. I don't know if I want to play this game with you. <laughs> Damn, bro, I got them corner shots, bro. Call me LeBron James, bro. Yeah. Oh, I fucked it up, though. Huh? This ball be on fire, bro. How long does this shit take, bro? I hate Fagel, bro. Hey, it's literally just playing that game over and over again. Oh, my God, bro. This would be way faster than two people. <laughs> or did you already do all of it? I've already done all of it, but if you want to play some more, I'll play it, bro. I don't care. I'm, just, I'm doing the how, fucking after, shadow after, after, after this story thing, how, what is it? Is uh, this what after is it? the Haunting Tales, it's over. Okay. Well, I got laser so after, cannons. Um, I think after you do that and talk to the girl, there's like two really <laughs> small dialogue situations in your game. How do I, oh my god, bro. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, okay, bro. That was, uh... Wow. I would have just cut that out, bro. Amazing! You cleared all the elemental cubes so quickly! I wouldn't say quickly, bro. She got a bad one. She kind of just said, Paimon thinks we got this in the bag! Alright, it's your turn! You wanna play the game now? Okay. Watch well, I mean, I'm more impressed with that actually made, like... Yeah, bro. She out here actually playing with us, bro. Like, she guess she's just fucking normal. Yeah, the thing I'm more concerned about is the fact that they actually gave her, like, a body. Like, it's not just a default, uh, random character. It's like the same player model, but, like, slightly different. Oh, yeah, so I wonder bro. if she'll e I wonder if she'll either be, like, playable in the future, or she's be, like, a permanent resident. Like, bro, like, Inazuma's, like, permanent, really good stories are just default characters. Like, bro, the Shrine Maiden quest, that, got, that shit got me, and it was cliche as hell. And it's just a regular girl with a fox mask. Yeah, bro, you know how it is, bro. Stuff Even out here using the, the same uh, 20 bucks. Changed, they had to give her a body, bro. I would never we get one wish after winning, like bro. You. you already know what it is, bro. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the ones who created bro, a kitty. Black hair, red eyes, bro. If her hair was just short, bro. No wonder you're so I'm ripping the model myself. <laughs> we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. Paramagic Transformer. A wish, huh? Then I wish for someone to blow out my back. That we never cross paths again. Damn, bro, why she hit us with that? What? But didn't we just have a great time together? Zero riz, bro. That's precisely Pilot's got why. no riz. Don't ever come <laughs> near me or speak to me again. Damn, bro. We give her Surely a great time, bro. She's like, you can fulfill, right? I, mean, I guess, bro. This She's like, I don't know about is that. my <laughs> final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will. Ed, I'll steal your souls. I'll uh, steal your souls, bro. bro. She got that snow Scared statue. Now? Good. Got that snoozu master, bro. Holy. Then don't yeah, come bro, here she's again. Like a, she's a soul stealer, bro. Suck the soul straight <laughs> out of you. Drain. Drain from the uh, from Did Amethyst. Who the fuck's his name? Damn, yeah, bro. Traveler, traveler woke up. Hi, was like, damn, bro. All I know is that you were passed out and your dick was out, bro. Tom <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the fuck happened? Why is your dick out? Bowen's like, I tried to stop her. She just didn't stop. Everyone has their reasons. Uh, fair enough. But Paimon had a lot of fun playing a Kitsuyugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. We'll see her again, Paimon. Anyway. Bro, well, I don't give a fuck about this thing. <laughs> Haunted Tales, bro. At least it's broken up in segments, so I can... I mean, well, I mean, anyone watching the fucking video knows it begins and ends with my fucking... the chapter scenes. How you doing, Ida? How you doing with those little kids? So, you must be Hitatsume Kozo. Oh, it's Joy Mia, bro. <laughs> yeah. Is Child gonna show up? Because Jeremia <laughs> was uh, on a date with Child in the forest. And I run Naganohara Fireworks. Huh? Oh, Did you not see her during the? I saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Yeah, during the what? Was during what event? Right. Yeah, the, yeah, photo, the photo. The photo. The photo. Yeah. Beautiful. You could have found your. Across the sky. Jeremia and Child in the forest on a date. What the hell? 
talking about kids. Mm. Anyways, it's your cannon. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks. Bro, it's the classic cliche, bro. That'll be fun. Whoa, really? Thank you very energetic much. country girl and with the stoic businessman. Are you Come on, bro. Cliche is old as the stoic businessman. Yes, that's me. Man has to go to the country for business. I'm no lord. Just a wandering country girl who's used to the I've life. I've seen you with your sword in the wilderness. You made quick work of many opponents with your amazing swordsmanship. It's clear the scene where he's like on the farm and she's all like, "You don't know how to like wrestle pigs or horses." He's like, "You can't be that hard, woman." And he like falls in the mud. Bro, come on, bro. Bro, that's <laughs> oh well. Bro. You're just you're just describing the movie. We watched, okay, so. yes, that one movie we watched. But that's the whole point. It's built off on the cliches. God damn, I can't remember the name. That was uh, Pompo the Cinephile. Oh, yeah, Pompo the Cinephile, uh, yeah. That was a good that show. That must anyway. have been when I was trying to escape. We watched that in the theaters. That was common. It wasn't as soon as you were saying that, all I had in my mind was this I fucking had two characters. I trying situations before I was able to leave the islands. The head of the Kamisato clan also lent can't me his assistance at the time. can't believe that was the last time we saw Aaron, man. By the way, Actually, this bro. is And those two people who are clearly doing something oh, like that. So <laughs> the waiter who was trying to get that good mean tip from us because he was like, yeah, I, I play League of Legends. <laughs> what an honor. There's no need to be so for anime. God damn. I never imagined I'd ever meet someone as distinguished as you. I must be dreaming. Well, even the yokai respecter, bro. Weird. Go was talking to that kid. Hey, go, what are you hey, doing with that kid over there? Don't you want to go talk to them too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather shy. Motherfucker's a turtle, bro. Really? Well, that's strange. You seemed completely fine when we were chatting. You're a dog, bro. I'm not sure why. Got that dog but in I it. feel so relaxed when talking with you, General Goro. Hmm? Go, he's got that dog in him, bro. You know, you say he got that dog in him. Actually, I'm the most timid Can't of Can't wait for the day we us. get someone who can actually I use the snow tones. I hit for days the last time over. someone tossed a stone into the river. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on. It's odd. I'm not normally like this. It's okay, kid. You guys are sort of gone goes like, you're just like me, right? When I was young. Uh, it's okay. You can't excel at everything. The important thing is to have the courage to change. Hey there. <laughs> Chatting away, I see. Mind if I join you? Sure. I've never seen a Kappa before. No Kappa. Bro. Kappa. Kappa Pride. Uh, hello there. We're not on Twitch, so no one cares. Most Thank you for bringing ones. so many amazing people to meet us, Ito. Yeah, they're all main characters. Ah, <laughs> it's nothing. Being the one and only means being the best, you know? The only characters in this cutscene I don't have are the five stars. Crazy. And every member has a special title. Classic <laughs> Ito. There you go, bragging about yourself again. Don't confuse them. Everyone's here for the test of courage, not because you brought them here. Half the people here don't even know who you are. Damn, bro. Paimon hey, out here laying it out. moment, Paimon. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Ito really isn't as cool as he claims to be. When it comes to having connections in Inazuma, nobody can beat Paimon and the Traveler. That's true. We literally know everybody. Oh, yeah? All right. Well, then let's have a little contest and see who knows the most people. Oh, boy. Sure, bring it on, bull checker, beetle boy. Um, uh, uh, please don't fight. Actually, I think you're both really amazing. Damn, bro. And you also have a great friendship, just like Lord Kamai and the Samurai. Kamai? <laughs> well, of course. Did you just your voice Bro, it's his fucking gang. Oh, it's the boys. The boys. The boys. Oh, darn it! I was so caught up with the yokai that I forgot I was supposed to scare the daylights out of the gang. Well, they already got what? <clears throat> uh, hey, fellas. Look, I can explain. I, I... boss, we're, we're sorry. sorry. Wait, what now? We shouldn't have ever doubted you, boss. You were right. Yeah, the test of courage is terrifying. There are definitely ghosts here. I still get shivers just thinking about it. But the thrill was kind of fun. This... Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I told you it would be an exhilarating experience, but no, none of you believed me. Anyway, no need to be too scared Damn now. Right. Let me tell you what's happening here. What happened? Bro? 
It turns out there aren't any ghosts here. Oh. All the scary stuff you saw mm -hmm. was just a little misunderstanding we had with the yokai. Is that demon woman gonna appear here? Can we ask I the agree. kids about the demon room? Uh, sorry, Damn, but I've 5, never seen these three before. before. Huh? I'm not sure where you've uh, been or what you've oh, seen. Oh, maybe not from that event but specifically, but uh, I don't have to have 5,000 now. Please. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? What demon did we see? Wait, hold on, little Yoko. You're kidding, right? <laughs> you know, now's not really the time for that. No, I'm serious. I really don't know what's going on. But if it wasn't you guys, does that mean there are real ghosts out here? Yeah, the fucking red-eyed demon. Oh, that's right. I might assume she was a yokai too. And we even played a Kitsuyukin with her. Uh, you shouldn't have done that. I, I'm not sure who it was you met. Bruh. But we're the only three yokai who wanted to hold a festival here. Bro, give us this song in the tea pot, Calm man. down. Everyone just, just calm down now. What's yeah. all the noise about? No, it's Heiser. Oh, you're the Ten Real Commission's lap dog. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, only your noise would drive it away. That's pretty good. Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon. Please, come with me. Oh, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> hmm. Paimon somehow feels a little better now that Hazo's here. I, I, would, I, mean, I would talk to her and see if they got dialogue. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, best boss. boss. You're the best boss. Where are the yokai and kids at? Oh, can we talk to- oh, everyone's all around, I can talk to them. Yeah, I can talk to everyone. Could the rumors be true, then? Do strange phenomena it's... really happen oh, yeah, every yeah. time that- Please, be careful. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Young maiden. Hey, general. Recite this to yourself. Keep your mind clear and at peace. Those were Her Excellency's remarks in the directive. She once said, There is nothing to be afraid of as long as your conscience is clear. Is that so? If only your excellency were here. Yeah, well, imagine we had Kokomi in this bitch. Speaking of, how many Inazuma, char Inazuma characters are left for us to do for like the last one? Situation. He has Unless my we're not doing the last one. But given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. Yeah, who would the last three be? So, is there really a ghost around here? Because Kuja saw is one of them. I'm, I'm taking them immediately. I've never seen a ghost before. What happened? How exciting! That's why I wonder who the last three are going to be for the last test of courage. Like, what other units of my characters are there? This is one of my usual hiding spots. You'll see, brother. Also, that's the end story. Let me show you a trick. That's said, so Just... who will the next three be? I don't know. Who the fuck? Where's, uh... What's Kazuma? Oh, oh, there he is. Is that him up there back there by himself? All the way back here? Yeah, there he is. That should be everyone, right? Unease pervades the air, and fear is spreading. Maybe this is the real test of courage. It's already becoming an unforgettable experience for me. Well, Kazuma's always in every fucking event, though. Did you do a, a, a Kazuma story? Uh, you still need to do it, so you can actually, uh, finish up. Uh, hello? Miss Shy Maiden? Uh, huh. Strange. She isn't here. Motherfucker saw a ghost and ran off. Ah! What's this? Look, there's something written in red on the bulletin board! Go away. Oh, round three. Item, Hagoita. That was a Hagoita. Does this mean that the item we have to find in the third round is a Hagoita? 
The Shrine Maiden appears to be urging us to finish the third round of the Test of Courage. But where did she go? <gasps> Has she been taken away by a ghost? Will Paima be next? Oh. Paima will never leave your side now! The words are scribbled hastily, but there's no evidence of a struggle. However, aren't there too many words written here? How many words? I don't read fucking katakana or the fuck that's written up. I believe that the three items chosen for this three round contest were each selected by the three organizing parties. The dongo milk was chosen by the merchant who funded the event, and the fan was chosen by the Yashiro Commission, which provided the staff. So, does the Hagoita, which should have been chosen by the Grand Narukami Shrine, have any unique significance? Let's worry about that later. The bigger question is, are we really going to join the third round of the Test of Courage? Paima would love to win the grand prize, but our safety comes first! How about we... make a tactical retreat? I still have my commission to complete, so I'll stay. Fear arises from mystery, and it's a detective's job to unearth the truth from the mystery. <sighs> Somehow feels a little better after hearing you say that. Okay then, let's wait for a while. Oh, so we don't get to see the fun. It's gonna be fucking high sound. That's part two completed, and there is no part three yet. We got part two in like no fucking four hours. Four hours, bro.